Good day everybody and once again we are back together all right and this time we're going to look at the area rule once again but this time looking at the obtuse angle method right so if you haven't subscribed please make sure you're part of the family and if you need any assistance with maths and science we are ready willing and able to assist you and all the information that you need will be on the description of this video just click on that link tree and it will guide you into all the services that we have right now let's get right into the question all right so first of all remember now we've got triangle abc which is an obtuse angle a uh, triangle right so in this case what we're going to do now remember the side that is opposite to uh, angle a that will be small side a the side that is opposite angle B will be small side B and the side that is opposite angle C will be small side C. Right, so now that we've got our sides, right, let's do this. We are now going to draw a line that is perpendicular to that triangle, right? So let's have a perpendicular line there. Okay, and let's extend that line. Okay, so now we've got that e extension. In fact, let me just make it nice and straight. Okay, so there it is. Okay, so now that we've got an extension, we know that this would be, uh, that would be a uh, lines that are perpendicular, right? Let's call that vertex D, right? And so now we've created another triangle, which is triangle ACD. But we know that AD is equal to H, right? And let's do this, right? We know that we've got CD. Now, ladies and gents, I want you to note, if this is angle C in here, right? What would be the size of this angle in here? It would be 180 minus angle C. Let's keep that in mind, right? Okay, so um, that's my triangle. So required to prove. Let's start there, right? What are we required to prove? So required to prove is that the area of triangle uh, ABC is equal to half a multiplied by B, the sine of angle C. Now, remember the area rule. You always have two sides and the included angle. So if I use A multiplied by B, the included angle, the angle between those two sides would be angle C. Right, now let's prove. So our proof just simply says, oh, oops, I wrote proof. Uh, so proof. So let's start. So in triangle, so I'm going to start with triangle ABD, right? The big triangle. So in triangle ABD, I know that the area, okay, the area of triangle ABD will be equals to half of the base now remember the base will be the entire thing there that would be um you know uh, side a right multiplied by in this case in fact i said a b d when i was actually supposed to say a b c right so a b c right so that's half of the base right which is uh, a our base is A and the perpendicular height, which is H. So that will be A multiplied by H. And we let that be equation 1. Right. And then now I am going to go into the smaller triangle, which is ACD. So in triangle ACD, right, we know that if I were to take the... Um, the sine of right 
angle C, that 180 minus C, right? So if you look at that, the sine of that, the sine of 180 minus C, this will give me the height divided by, now please I want you to note, remember that it's opposite over hypotenuse. What is our hypotenuse? That would be side B. So that would be the height over uh, the hypotenuse, which is B. Now, I want you to note there, so which means H. Now, if I cross multiply, H will be B multiplied by the sine of 180 minus angle C. Now, note, if I take the sine of 180 minus, remember if we use our cast diagram, right? So where is 180 minus? that would be in the second quadrant and you can see that sign is positive in the second quadrant so this simply becomes b positive sign of angle c and that's what h is right and now that becomes equation two so all that we're going to do is we're going to substitute equation two into equation one and please, I want you to note, ladies and gents, now that I've got uh, H there, so the area of triangle ABC will be equals to half of, we've got A, but now for H, we can substitute that B sine C. So that's B sine of angle C. And essentially, we have proven what we were supposed to prove all right and essentially that's how the cookie crumbles ladies and gents right so please just note this is really one of the simplest uh, uh, proofs to make and in this case you would have gotten yourself some free marks all right ladies and gents we leave it there we are now going to apply the area uh, the area rule uh, we're going to apply um, you know the sine rule and the cosine rule in our next video and please look out for more content from your favorite uncle otherwise from me for now i'll see you guys next time shop shop